What's going on guys when I banded back again with yet another video talking about more Dragon Ball fighters and specifically I want to talk about the Dragon Ball Super Broly leaks that leaked basically uh, there's a whole video out I'm not gonna name any names because it's actually not good to post that video on your own channel obviously because people can get sued um, your channel will get destroyed basically strike to hell you will disappear um, for posting that it's a leak obviously you're not allowed to do that and so basically I want to look at the trailer and just tell you guys what I've seen from the leaks and then show you guys what the trailer basically I'll take from what the trailer and then just talk about each individual thing that's in the leak because it's easier to do that than just tell you guys what I saw because obviously here you can actually see what's going on um, the character looks amazing from the leak if you've seen it you've seen it if you haven't you haven't um, don't leak it link it down below on my channel because obviously again people can get in trouble for it I could get my channel taken away from me so if I see it down in the comments I'm gonna have to delete it but <clears throat> anyways we know that Broly uh, obviously comes in on the map uh, the leak didn't show him coming in or I think it did actually I don't even remember but it does show him coming in this is obviously his intro and stuff we know that uh, I have done a trailer breakdown but since I know more about the character just by looking at like a full leak of him then I can definitely tell you guys more but anyways the very startup of this right here is indeed his light auto combo that was actually the second hit and I really want to tell you guys how the first hit of his light auto combo is actually going to be 10 whole frames which is very 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 bad seeing as a character like Dragon Ball Z Broly has a seven frame startup compared to this that's really really bad I mean most characters have a six and that means if you are like you're that means one you're not gonna really be able to stagger with this character people are going to out hit you every single time um, clashes you will never win because even the second hit of his auto combo the light auto combo this right here is it's 14 frames so not good not good whatsoever um, based off of that alone you like just just I'm just gonna put it right here just so that you guys can know based off of that alone that would put him low tier because if you can't beat out a character who is mashing then you it's that's not good it's just not good so again this is light auto combo they show only the the second hit the, they even uh yeah they show the 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 uh, second hit then they show the third hit which is an animation which is pretty cool um, I don't know how much it'll disrupt combos or whatever but again this right here is a grab move you can choose to e exit and the opponent will go flying like off of the wall and stuff like that and don't know if you can truly combo off of it quite yet because the person who was playing wasn't too good but definitely a decent move it is a grab I believe they didn't they didn't show if you could like I, they didn't show if it was a a true grab or anything I'm gonna assume it is because again this is another move that has kind of slow startup uh, but if it is a grab which I hope I just hope like it's it's decent as decent as Dragon Ball Z Broly again these are his key blast um, again with the leak I wasn't too sure if uh, if these were always rapid fire I'm pretty sure they were but it's just it's really annoying if they are because seeing as it has like a slow recovery it's pretty bad this move here also pretty decent um, there's a follow-up to it of course this is there's things you can see from the trailer obviously that you just know um, like like they don't transfer over to the leak too well like there's only certain things that I could tell you guys about it because obviously this move again there's a follow-up to it it gets a knockdown and that's about it it's like it's basically just a combo ender this right here um, don't believe you can super dash after it I'm pretty sure this move here this Broly has like three different level ones 
obviously he transforms and I'll tell you guys now I that's one thing I hate about this character is Arxis prides themselves on being like uh, true to the anime or true to the manga and they did this here where you know he transforms in his supers only and he doesn't actually like he doesn't stay transformed which is entirely annoying in itself um, and I just don't quite understand that because if if you pride yourself on being true to the anime why would you why would you make him like transform back into base form after these moves if he stays Super Saiyan until the end of the movie um, he never fights without his shirt on in his enraged form. It's just, it's just one thing that it's annoying to me. But yeah, this is again another one of this is his level one super. One of them, um, basically he charges at you and then he can go like in different directions. Um, doesn't seem like the greatest level one. I'm not too sure. Like sometimes it hit, sometimes it didn't. Um, it was definitely a weird move when I was looking at it. But again, you can only know but so much about it until you actually get your hands on it. Um, this move here again transform does these blasts everywhere and again the trailer does a good job showing what it actually does uh, obviously there's more explosions after it and again he transforms and then goes back to base form um, yeah this move right here this one was the most interesting thing because it, it this right here is his 2M and again I want to let you guys know that his standing medium is actually again 14 frames so even worse and most characters have let's say like an 11 between between like a 10 and 12 or even a 9 I'm pretty sure Bardock is a 9 like frame startup like this one this right here his 2M is pretty sure it's 15 but the standing medium is it's really bad it has some decent range to it but it's not good whatsoever and and like when I'm talking about the startup but the the uh this move here is amazing like it's it's only amazing because you can actually step on the character that you're stepping on you can do this a total of four different times or it's either four or six i'm like really like i didn't study it like to the t but you can do at least four different lows these are all lows especially um well i say that but the person didn't have their cpu block whatsoever as they were um as they were testing out broly which is again kind of annoying because you want to like you you want to see the different properties that certain moves have but yeah his 2m i believe it is a low for sure but the fact that you can get four different lows off of this one move is is crazy we don't know what his 2l is like uh sadly um, I don't remember I don't remember the person showing off the 2L at all I don't believe it is a low but this right here he gets four different lows but the sad thing about it is he um, it's not like a it's not a safe to do it's just not safe to do if your opponent is blocking them all um, they can reflect in between I'm pretty sure they can um, maybe even level three you if you continue to do them they have to be really off guard to and pay attention to these moves because obviously you can kind of tell one step after the other like this is it's going to be very very slow and kind of seem reactable but yeah he can definitely do his 2m multiple times and they are all counted as lows i'm pretty certain and obviously you can't like do a full combo after that you can't go four m like do four two m's and then go into medium into you know light light whatever whatever super dash you can't do that of course so you have to do this right here which is his super move um which is looking like an overhead um you can e exit just to get more damage because as you can see i well in the, in this trailer i can't really tell if I'm pretty sure yeah I'm pretty sure it bounces you up and you can like combo off of that and like get a vanish off of course and then do your vanish combo but as for this uh, you can e exit and get even more damage stuff like that it's it looks like a really decent move but again this is his other level one not that one um, after this this is his full M combo he does another level one 
which kind of bounces the opponent into the air. And I don't know how good it'll be for like DH, like certain DHC situations since it does bounce them up into the air. You either have to be really quick or have characters that can like basically point their beams up or their level ones up in some way, shape or form. Goku, Bardock might be able to DHC well into him, but as it stands for now, the way that it like it pops the character up and you can't really, um, it doesn't look like you'll be able to DHC too well. And then obviously he does his level three. And of course in the leak, it's been confirmed once he does the level three, again, he goes transforms back into his base form, which again, I just, I don't understand why they did that. Um, and if they are doing it because of like reasons like this for his end screen, which is cool. And then he goes Super Saiyan for the end screen. That's kind of dumb. And then of course, maybe they'll have him do that for the dramatic finish. I don't know. They, they really dropped the ball on that. I know a lot of people would have liked to see him stay transformed, but yeah, there's, there isn't too much that the leak gave us because it was very, very basic gameplay, but I do want to let you guys know on December the 3rd, we are going to be getting like Goichi, Sonic Fox, a bunch of the pros actually playing as Dragon Ball Super Broly. And also, if you haven't heard, it's been leaked that the character is going to drop on the 5th, so Thursday um, of, of December. And all I got to say is basically I told you so because I definitely called that. I called between the 5th and the 10th. Um, because it just made sense uh because or the, or did i say is december the fifth yeah fifth or tenth because characters normally drop on either a tuesday or a thursday it was it was my guess was between the third fifth and tenth but since we got news that it was going to be on the uh since we got news that the car the pros were going to be playing him on the third i was like okay they're most likely going to drop him two days later after that which is the fifth because we know that the tournament is going to happen on the 30th uh and they are going to give us most likely the dramatic finish trailer on the 30th re release date which will be the fifth the pros will play him on the third and then we'll obviously get our hands on him that thursday so yeah basically there's not too much to talk about but i definitely feel like the character he looks really good he just has some clear faults if his buttons stay the way they do on release he's going to be really bad like not really bad but he'll be low tier because he he just can't beat out anybody who are you beating with the buttons that he has um hopefully his redeeming qualities come from like his supers his grappling moves but as it stands right now he's he's not looking like the best of characters just due to the fact that his buttons seem very very slow and have that slow startup but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe please remember that god and anime are always on your side my name is when i bandit that's all i got for you please come join the bandit army peace out